Hey, what's up, guys? I have a quick unboxing for you. This is the, um, uh, it's a Best Buy exclusive. It doesn't say, there's no sticker on here, but it's, I'm pretty sure it's a Best Buy exclusive. This is the Shape of Water limited edition steelbook, which actually is apparently a 4K Ultra HD uh, plus Blu-ray plus digital. I actually did not even know that this was uh, 4K. It was released in the UK and Italy and other places as, I think, just a standard edition, and I just assumed it was the same thing. But I guess it's 4K, and that's pretty cool. Even though I don't need it, but that's still cool. I, I actually did, I bought the regular version of this back when it all came out because it didn't have a steelbook, and I wanted to see the film. Um, and I've seen it since then, and I actually enjoyed the film. I'm not sure if it really was worthy of a best picture movie last year. I mean, I, I enjoyed the film, um, but um, I don't know. I remember thinking that was kind of, it was cool, I suppose, that it won, because this is a fantasy-type film, and I, the last time a fantasy film won Best Picture, it was like, um, um, Lord of the Rings, I think, maybe, Return of the King. But, uh, anyway, I'm babbling about something that's not even this fucking movie. I'm gonna open this up. Um, this was, uh, Best Buy. This was actually released last week, but they were all backordered. This and Isle of Dog, uh, Isle of Dogs and, uh, The Apes, um, three film set. A lot of Fox, and they're all Fox actually, yeah. Right, this is Fox, yeah. All the, the, oh, they had a, a series of Fox steel books that were released last week that just were not on time or whatever the hell happened. Distribution problems, like everything else going on in the Blu ray world. Lots of glue on here. Big blotches of glue, actually, shit. And actually, this is a matte finish. I thought this was going to be a glossy finish. Is there a spine slash? I don't see one. So that's cool. Here's the synopsis and everything. You can pause it if you want. At, at this point, it's, it's like I said, it's the best picture winner. It was pretty popular. I think most people know about this film. You can just pause on that if you want to talk about it or look at it. But um, It's a cool film. I haven't seen it since... Um, uh, February or whatever, so uh, I'll have to um, check it out again later. But Guillermo del Toro, um, Doug Jones as the fish dude, and um, Sally Hawkins as the mute woman, and Michael Shannon as the villain. And Richard Jenkins is there too, although he's not really, wasn't it that much. And Octavia Spencer and Michael Stuhlberg, I think, yeah. I knew eventually this is going to be released. This is just too cool of a cover. I thought this was a really cool cover. Although I really do think I'd prefer um, glossy. I think it would look better in gloss, but this is fine, I guess. I don't see any um, scratches or anything. And there's a digital code. And here is the Blu-ray. Just plain blue, like all Fox titles seem to be. And here is the 4K. And there's the background art of her looking at the fish dude in the little tank. Now this, it's 4K, but I think, how much was this? Was this only like $22? Which is a little cheap for a 4K, but at the same time, it's a, it's, a, it's older, it's re-release of a film. Though it is special packaging, so I don't know. 22 to 23-ish dollars. I guess that's about right for a sale price for a, a 4K title, so I guess it's about right. So, I don't know if I'm just going to sell this or keep it or what I'm going to do, but uh, I got it for now, so. Throw this baby in here. See that? And Bob's your uncle. There you go. Yeah, it's very cool artwork I like. I wish, of course, like usual when I with these um, steel books, I wish there was a title or something, whatever, but this is still kind of a nice... Art, artwork, The Shape of Water. Very cool idea. Um, the only thing with this, one of my critiques of the the design of the film is that the uh, sets and whatnot, well, I guess it's unfair to say that too because it was kind of a budgetary thing, but the sets, the design, everything looked like like Hellboy, I guess. The sets were a lot of the same ones. And even the, the fish character, he looks, I mean, exactly like Abe Sapien and the same actress playing him. But, uh, I won't. Not exactly like Ape Sapien, but very, 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 very similar. Um, but whatever, you know. Who 
cares? Still cool. I'm glad it was made. It deserved praise. It just, you know, blah, blah, blah. Who cares, right? Anyway. Um, I would say go to Best Buy and check this out. Uh, they were very rare in my area. I actually had to order it online. It was back-ordered. Um, I've been to two Best Buys in my area, and they didn't have any in stock. They had um, other things in stock that have been kind of out of stock, but they did not have this in stock. Um, so I had to order it online. And I don't know if they're still even taking orders online, but uh, I had pre-ordered it, so maybe that's why. But anyway, blah, blah, blah. Thanks for watching, guys. I've got more to unbox here for you, so uh, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.